Tonight, the businesses and performers who make their living off of drag shows met at an emergency meeting in Kissimmee. Some are concerned the legislature's drag agenda could be putting their safety at risk. News 6's Brian Didlake has the story new at 11. Now, there were moments during this meeting where emotions were high as drag entertainers were sharing stories concerning security. One is saying that at one point they were locked in a room with children after a drag story time saw protesters threatening their safety. Organizers we spoke to said that they hope that this meeting will lead to them getting results. The best thing we can do is, is do what we're doing right now and make ourselves heard. Now, that's the goal as drag entertainers are now organizing. Performers, business owners, and allies coming from Orlando, Jacksonville, Tampa, and other areas attending an emergency meeting Monday. This meeting was basically to get everyone on the same page. Sherilyn Matthews, an entertainer, says emotions are high in the LGBTQ community after the filing of this bill, HB 1423, titled Protection of Children. It's Republican Randy Fine's bill, which would ban children from seeing adult life performances. What we have is we have men dressing up like strippers, and somehow the, the woke left thinks that that's okay. In Florida, it's not. Matthews disagrees and says this bill mischaracterizes drag and adult life performances. She says the notion that children are at risk is false. We're not physically saying anything to anyone. However, if you roll up into a First Baptist church, they're telling you how to think. They're telling you how to feel. Drag is not about that. Drag is about you finding what part of it that you enjoy and bringing the joy out in you. We need to stop backing down and canceling events when we are doing something that is perfectly legal and letting them get away with threatening us with our lives. Speakers during the meeting sharing safety tips, educating people on the bill and how to report threats to drag-related events. Some sharing stories of those threats. We were actually trapped in the building with about 15 children and they wanted to <coughs> cause harm to us and the children. We've done the fighting. We've done the representing. Matthews calling on the LGBTQ community and allies to rally with them. People who love the entertainment that we provide, I would hope that they would be ready to stand with us and so that we cannot be swept under the rug. And now Equality Florida, as well as other LGBT groups, are planning a march next week called Pride in the Capitol. They tell me it's one of many events that we can expect to see during this legislative session. We're in Kissimmee. Brian Ditlick getting results. News 6.